Hey everyone, a while ago at Walmart I came across this Rouge the Bat toy. Awesome! Uh, I looked it up, apparently this came out about six months ago. But my Walmart's only just getting it because Walmart around here is just freaking terrible when it comes to actually putting anything out on time. All the stores are when it comes to toys. So anyway, I saw this and I was like, um, like this is just freaking amazing. I love Rouge. I've always wanted a toy of her. This is really cool. Look on the back, we got a couple other figures. You know, at the store, all they had was they had this one Rouge, then they had like three Supersonics. No Eggmans, no Shadow. And I looked it up, apparently there were other figures in this line. They didn't have those. There's still a couple of movie Sonics and Tails lying around. So anyway, uh, I want to talk about the box. This came in... I think they went a little uh, oversized with the box. Like, I'm guessing the size of the box is supposed to, like, it's the same for all the figures, I'm assuming, and it's meant to compensate for the size of bigger characters like Eggman, or if they were to do, like, Big the Cat, or Vector, or, like, a bigger scale character, but, I mean, for Rouge, and most of the Sonic characters, it just looks silly. This is really oversized. If you're the type of collector who wants to keep these in the box, this just wastes so much freaking space. And, like, since most Sonic characters are about Rouge's size, like, seriously, one, two, three, and then, yeah, one out of four is a bigger scale figure. So it seems like, shouldn't they just have two different scale boxes? One box for the smaller scale characters, one for the bigger scale characters? Whatever, anyway, let's open this up and uh, talk about the actual figure. Oh, it's got one of these weird little... These little things on the front. There's a rubber band around it. Okay, I finally got the rubber band off. Kind of weird that they're concerned about this being so secure when there's all this space here for this thing to get, like, crunched up really easily. Like, I worked at a distribution store for a while, and believe me, stuff gets all crunched up, and no one cares. So, uh, it's... Hoping there's no more rubber bands around, or... Are her wings, like, out the... Okay, they're not. Come on, get out of there, you. And now she's out of the box, so let's take a close look at her. Really cool. I think they might have gotten a little low with the paint for her lip there. Oh, dear. Also, some of the white splashed off onto her skin there. Okay, the paint job's a little messy in places, but for the most part, this looks okay. The ears are good. like the detail on the eyes, eyelashes. That's really cool. The wings look really... Oh, the wings are articulated. I was not expecting that. That is cool. Oh, she's got a little tail. Neat. Okay, one open hand. One hand sculpted to, like, hold something that she doesn't come with. She only came with this thing. Which is a, um... Accessory. Okay, what's it say on the back there? Um... Oh, with Heart Bomb. Yeah, I don't play many of the video games, so I'm not familiar with this thing. Like, is this a common thing in the games? Not that she can really hold it too well. She can only hold it if she's like, has her arm up like this. Okay. Okay, whatever. Okay, articulation. Um, kind of hard to do this with one hand. Okay, I got my little camera propped up, so I'm gonna see how the articulation works. Got a wrist swivel, oh, elbow swivel. And there is a joint in there, if I can get it to... There. Like, it sure looks like there's a joint in her elbow, but I can't get it to move. Let's see. Shoulder has a joint in it, and a swivel there, 360, all that. Can't get the elbow to move, maybe... The other arm I can get to move. Okay, there. So, her elbows do have, like, joints. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, there it goes. I was kind of afraid to put too much force on it. Let's see. Head turns. Head doesn't pop off or anything, so no switching heads. Let's see. Got little ankle swivels. Oh, I like the detail on the shoes. The high heels. That is really cool. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so... She can... Move her legs in some pretty weird ways. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, there's the... Ah. Uh, there's like a thigh joint. Ah. The limbs on... Oh, jeez, her wing fell off. Her wings come out pretty easily, apparently. Huh. Alright, then. Okay, well, that makes uh, trying to figure out the articulation a little easier. Right, come on, move up. There we go. Move it that way, so... Yeah. Okay, now her legs are facing the right way, I think. Yeah. The limbs on Sonic characters are really thin and skinny, so trying to make an action figure is kind of awkward, especially when you're trying to make it, like, really, like, super articulated. Pop the wings back on there. Come on, get back in there. Okay, I... Okay, this wing is going to be very loose. It keeps wanting to pop out the top there. Alright, but anyway, in the end, this is a really nice figure. If you want to have a really good Rouge figure, definitely check, see if your Walmart actually bothers to stock toys on time, and maybe you won't be able to get this because this was apparently supposed to be out like six months ago. Probably still up on Amazon or something. I'm definitely going to be looking into getting more of these Sonic figures because... This is really nice. Like, it could be a little bit better. Like, the big paint splotch there is kind of weird. Uh, the lip being slightly off. But otherwise, the paint job is really nice. The sculpt is really good. It looks straight out of one of the games or the cartoons or something. I'm hoping maybe they'll expand this into other characters. Like, I'd love to see Sticks get a toy like this. That's That would be really cool. So, yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.